Well, I've been wanting to review these for a while now because they are one of my favourite plastics and with the market being so competitive and just bubbling over with so much variety these days in the soft plastics world, it's hard to know what to go for or why you'd choose a soft plastic over another one. These are the Kitech Easy Shiners. They come in a two, three, four and five inch. Definitely one of my favourites. They've got a boot tail you can see at the back there and one of the differences that uh, you notice straight away is that the connection from the tail right back through to the body goes starts right at the base of the tail there and that's a significant feature that I think I've only seen in these Kitech Easy Shiners and what it does is it holds the bait in a much flatter presentation much more realistic at different speeds and it means that when you're cranking it in at different speeds, it still keeps that same presentation and the same tail kick going. It doesn't sort of have a stalling point like some of the plastics that you might use to when you get to a different speed, they'll just fail on you or just go, go to a stop stall as you retrieve it. These things will work from a very slow roll back right to a medium fast burn and they stay very stable. Another design feature that they've got is the way that they've been constructed. You can see very slender profile, which often leads to a much bigger roll, but the roll that these have got is actually kept to a minimum and just perfect. If you can see in the footage, you can see it's just got a little wiggle, which I think is perfect for so many species. And the reason behind that is, if you look at the baits, the way they're constructed, a lot of them, you can see two different colors, but there's different densities and the lower density, the top half of it is a lower density and then down the bottom it's heavier. So they're infused with salt. So they've got a high, like their scent is just unreal, but the higher density salt infused base means that it stays a lot more stable in the water. So you can rig these things. You can see I've got one here that's been rigged uh, weedless and almost weightless, that's just a really light little weight there, but you don't even need that. And because of that lower density, they'll stay stable in the water on your retrieve. You can see the way I like to rig some of these with a really light head. And this one here, you can see I've got some footage here. This is the Strawberry Ripple, which has been designed mainly for Australian waters, actually. It's a custom Australian design for flathead. Everyone knows that pink's a favorite color for flathead, one of the most popular colors getting around for flathead. And this Strawberry Ripple is just bomb on them and I'll use a really light head when I'm chasing flathead with these things, but you can rig them with a slightly heavier head and they'll still work to get down really quickly if you're chasing schooled up bass or deep bass, things like that. These smaller ones are excellent on basically anything. You'll get loads of species on these things, but I've used them mainly for just brim, flathead and uh, bass. The sooties love them as well and you can run them on the surface with the weedless system and burn them across the top. These bigger ones nail the flathead and barra and dew and that sort of thing. The, the second one down here, this is the three inch and I wanna make a special mention of this because this is what really got me excited about doing the review. James Holt has designed this color. It's called Holty's Herring. He is an absolute weapon with these things. If you don't follow him on Facebook or Instagram, you, you need to check him out, James Holt. He's caught so many different fish on these three inch easy shiners and this is his specifically designed color. Take a look at what he's got. He's got loads of massive trevally, big bass and big sessions on getting loads of numbers just using these three inch. So that'd be my tip if you're going after bass and things like that or going after trevally or flathead in your local system, try these three inch range. Or if you're going after flathead, maybe that four inch in the strawberry ripple. But take a look at that, it looks it just imitates a herring just beautifully. I think he's done such a good job of showing people how to rig these, how to use them, and that sort of thing. So it's great to see an Australian design and some custom designs being based on some of the guys that are fishing them the best and getting really good results. I'll show you the packs they come in so you know what you're looking for on the shelves. Let me just zoom out. You can see that's the sort of thing that they come in. So that's the three. There's the Holtis herring, which are killing it. They're getting really popular. Here's one of my other favorites. You can see that there. And there's the two. Electric Shad is another favorite of mine on bass. And then the bigger ones, these are the five inch. You can see that they come in a really good packet. So they just hold that tail in position. You can see I've got a rigged one there for a weedless rig. Uh, and at the end of the video, I've got a little bit of footage. I just went out and chased bass with them one morning. And um, you might be able to check out yep. some of that footage just smashing a couple of small bass.
out fishing in my local spot from the kayak. There we go, that's on one of the pulp fish easy shining the three by Kitek. Draw this little back. There you go, fella. Yes, on. Just watching the line there. Didn't even need to work it because on the way down, these little three three inch Kitex, the little paddle tail will work just on the way down. So even I've only got it lightly weighted with a hidden weight. There's a size to suit every fishing option. 